What's up, YouTube? Leo Sheng here, host of the Extreme Fully Fishing channel. Today is, whoa, <laughs> today is February 6, 2015, and I'm bringing you guys ah, another unboxing for the mystery tackle box. All right, we're gonna do the same unboxing as always for the panfish collection. But before I start the unboxing for today, I have something extremely important to talk to you guys, okay? Extremely important. And I would like your sincere opinion as a subscriber of the Extreme Philly Fishing channel on this matter, okay? So after you have, you know, <laughs> after you hear everything that I have to say, please comment below and let, give me your opinion about this topic, okay? Now, if you don't want to listen about all this important stuff and you just want to see the unboxing for the Panfish edition of Mr. Tackle Box for January 2016, you can just, you know, skip it there, okay? Although, I highly recommend you to listen to the, few mi the, ne the next few minutes because this is a very interesting and important topic that is going to change some things in this channel, okay? Anyways, so as you guys know, I have been doing reviews for Mystery Tackle Box since September of 2015. It's been a couple months already that I've been releasing all these unboxing videos and slams for Mystery Tackle Box, right? I, I'm sure you folks have seen many of these videos on my channel. And, you know, when, uh, uh, you know, ultimately, right, after after a little while, I got sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box, and I am still sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box. Uh, I have no fear in telling you guys about the sponsorship, right? No, nobody really should. Mystery Tackle Box gives me one free box every month, okay? So this is what happens. This is the, the sponsorship that I have received from them, okay? I, I like to keep it very real with you guys. And as you know, I receive two boxes per month, right? So there's the one box that they gave to me, and then because I love this company, I spend my own money just like you guys would for your mystery tackle box, and I purchase a second box every month, you know, just for my own entertainment, right? I trust this company this deep. That's why I've decided to accept the sponsorship. Folks, in the past couple months, I have denied many sponsorships to this YouTube channel, even though my channel is small, okay? Folks, I don't know, folks email me, they tell me that I am charismatic and fun, you know, and I explain things well. So they offer me all these sponsorships to portray their products on the channel, you know? I, and, and I really tend to disapprove of that, unless one, I really trust the company, and two, I really trust the product, which is exactly what happened with Mr. Tackle Box. Now, why am I telling you all of this, right? And what is this important topic that I need to talk to you guys so much about? Well, the important topic is I am trying to, uh, not trying, I actually thought about this very carefully, and I think I am going to relinquish my sponsorship with Mr. Tackle Box. In other words, I'm going to, you know, end it, okay? And you folks may look at me <laughs> and ask me and tell me, you know, Leo, you are crazy. Why would you throw a good sponsorship with a company that you love, right? And the product as well, away. And this is the topic for today, okay? Uh, I am throwing this sponsorship away with Mr. Tackle Box it's starting the month of February because ultimately, I want to find out which tackle box company is the best out there. Okay, folks, you know me. I am a private instructor. I follow the field of education. This channel is all about the educational approach. It's all about teaching you guys. I make videos for you guys. You know, I make videos thinking about what you guys are going to learn about, how much you are going to get out of that video, how many more different species of fish will you be able to identify, etc. And every time you guys ask me, oh Leo, what is the best tackle box in the market? Or if every time you ask me, Leo, should I get mystery tackle box or this box? I don't know. You know, that is my sincere answer. Of course, I always recommend 
Mr. Tackle Box because I do trust this company. I have never had any bad experiences with Mr. Tackle Box. And above all, I do love their products, okay? Their products are awesome, which is why, apart from the sponsorship box, I get one box for myself. But that is not the problem. The problem is, even though I recommend Mystery Tackle Box all the time, I can't really say that Mystery Tackle Box is the best. Why? Because I haven't really gone out there and tested other boxes in order for me to tell you guys that this is the best. You see, I can only recommend you what I have tried before, you know? Oh, you like chocolate ice cream? Yeah, I like chocolate ice cream, I've tried. But I can't say it is the best until I have tried all the other flavors out there, okay? This is how it works. So in other words, I have decided to let this sponsorship with Mr. Tackle Box go away, okay? I, I am contacting Mr. Tackle Box in February. There is no longer going to be a sponsorship between the company and I. I hope they don't get mad at me, you know, I have absolutely no bad reasons of getting rid of this sponsorship. As I mentioned to you guys, the main reason why I am taking this sponsorship away is that so I can bring you guys new videos on this YouTube channel, okay? New versus videos where I put boxes side to side and I compare them and I can give you my sincere opinion on those boxes unbiased okay this is very important unbiased because i won't be with any organization so that you my subscribers you guys will be able to get out of those those of of those videos 100 percent information away okay so yes this is this important thing i had to talk about ultimately i'm getting rid of mr tackle box i mean the sponsorship i am still getting Mr. Tackle Box every month, I am going to be paying for the box just like you guys pay, okay? However, I will be portraying other box products on my channel. I will be comparing them. There, this is the new project that I'm telling you guys about. I am going to be uh, doing this very interesting thing, pretty much my own version of this lamb, where I would take one box from one company and one box from another company, and I would do a single is lamb with both boxes in the same body of water and see how many fish I can actually catch with each one of them, you know? So that's gonna be super cool, all right? Now, what I need from you, my subscriber, is your sincere opinion. Do you think what I am doing is the right thing to do? Because, you know, ultimately, folks, in my heart, I feel, as a scientist, I really need to go out there and, you know, experiment more with other things before I can tell you with 100% certainty, as a fact, that something is the best. What am I trying to say? I'm trying to say that I think I got into a sponsorship with Mr. Tackle Box a little bit too early. That's what I'm trying to say, okay? So comment below, let me know, let me know what you think of this new project, this new versus project let me know if you were excited about it let me know what you think about me getting rid of this sponsorship so i can give you guys unbiased opinion okay meaning just my opinion being on anyone's side just myself let me know okay because like i said ultimately i need your feedback don't forget okay this channel extreme fully fishing is about me portraying conveying my passion of the sport to you and again i want you the subscriber the viewer to get 100 percent out of my videos okay so yes let me know all right <laughs> and off talking about this let's do the unboxing for the panfish mr tackle box january 2016 edition all right let's do it all right so we got here the panfish box all right it is as always uh, as i always show you guys it is sealed I'm going to open it up right now and let's see what it is, you know, in this box. I really wanted to do an MTB slam this, uh, this month, but as you guys saw on my channel, you know, I have been super busy with work to a point that I haven't been really even able to work properly on the YouTube channel. So unfortunately, no slam, okay? We will have to be happy just with the unboxing. There we go. All right. This is the box that came for today. Uh, this is the about your box <laughs> looks good actually all right 
it always looks good, you know? Uh, all right, let me let me go through these baits one by one. The first one that we have here inside is called the... Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce this stuff, man. Django, Gengo by Lucky Craft, okay? So let me take this out of the box here to show you guys. Wow. This is super neat, fellas. This is super neat. All right, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna open this stuff. And while I open it, it says here the value is 980, and it says here this unique high quality floating crankbait has a beetle shape and will generate some curious strikes from all species of panfish. And you know, I, I gotta be, I gotta tell you guys the truth. I am a sucker for uh, Lucky Craft, okay? Lucky Craft is one of my favorite brands in the market when it comes to, you know, different types of lures for largemouth bass. So I am truly excited about this. No! <laughs> I dropped it! Man, I dropped my new, new, new thing here. Okay, well, never mind. So, <laughs> there you go. We got the Gengo right here. Huh? Very cool, huh? Very neat. Just like it says, it's like a beetle-shaped crankbait that floats on top of the water. Super neat, huh? And look, ah, there's always the, the sound aspect, huh? Okay, so yeah, all right, man. This is the first thing that I came inside the box. You know, I can definitely see myself using this. I do suck with crankbaits, not gonna lie to you guys. But you know, with this small, right? I don't know how much it can dive. I would have to read some uh, Japanese here. Let's see. I mean, their instructions are the bad, uh, uh, the bad, uh, you know, the back. I can't understand crap what it says here, but I think it says that it dives 3.5 feet or uh, 35 millimeters. All right, there we go, 35 millimeters. Oh well, you know, so yeah, there you go, man. I would definitely test one of these, all right? And the cool thing about this too, I wanna show you guys real quick. Look at the, look at the, you know, look at the hook of this beige. It is not a treble hook, okay? I mean, it is a two-sided hook instead of a three-sided hook. All right, second thing here that came in the box is called the Original by Sap Sucker on the value of three, 79 okay uh, okay a 13 pack the exaggerated fork tail will displace a large amount of water producing the commotion panfish crave let's see where is this oh i got it here Woohoo! yeah sap sucker all right very interesting logo it has some waves right here that reminds me of interference and physics Okay, don't forget, I am a physicist. I got my physics degree. You don't want just any lure. You want a lure proven to catch fish. This is why you choose sap sucker lures and we thank you. Oh, that's nice, you know, see? And then there are instructions at the back of the package. You see that? Aha, uh -huh. insert cook here, right? So pretty much you use this with a small jig hat, just a regularly, just like I regularly do, right? Under, uh, use my stuff with a little jig hat under a float. Now, Let's be sincere, folks. Look at this. Look at this. Doesn't this remind you of something, man? This reminds me of those little gummy things that I get on the market, you know? Is it? I mean, seriously, right? This really reminds me of those gummy things that are coming in the market. Now, of course, it says here, not for human consumption, right? But hey, you know what? Let's, let's bite a piece and see how this thing tastes like. Don't attempt this at home, all right? I am not responsible if any of you get some poison crap from yours, okay? Man, it's oily. It tastes some kind of chemical oil. Not very salty. I don't know how fish like this kind of stuff, man. Ugh, but yeah, there you go, all right? You got your, your, your sap sucker. I will definitely try it though. Don't attempt, don't eat. Hey, don't go eating stuff at home just because I ate it, all right? Do not do that. All right. Ugh. Third one, Bob and Fly by Cabin Creek Bait Corporation on the value of 221 for a two pack. Okay, there we go. And it says here, uh, the ultra point hook secures the fish that the alluring design and lightweight body are sure to bring in for a look. All right, interesting. Let's, let's take a look here. I have been getting stuff from Cabin Lure for quite a while. And you know, all outside of my, all outside of my uh, fish slam uh, of my uh, you know MTB slams 
I haven't really been using been using them, okay? So where are you? Come on, bomb and fly. Where are you, bomb and fly? Wait, now you're gonna be kidding here. Man, you really gotta be kidding me. Is MTB is Mr. Tackle Box? Is John B who's working for Mr. Tackle Box trying to screw me every month? Is that what it is? Where is it? Oh no no wait wait I found it I found it, folks. I really thought that it didn't it didn't come inside the box and I was getting a little bit desperate. You know I thought maybe because last month remember my uh, about the box uh, pamphlet came wrong right so I thought maybe John B tried to play a trick with me or something. Fish in the Midwest did include one. No, so there we go. We got here the Bob and Fly by Cabin Creek. All right, let me open it up, show you guys, give you a closer view. Pow! Oh, look at that. Huh? They have a Facebook page too, Cabin Creek Bait Company. So there you go. If you have a Facebook, you know, go give them a like. I do enjoy their products a lot. Okay, I've been receiving them for a few months now. Uh, Mystery Tackle Box seems to put their products a lot in their boxes. And they do catch, they do catch me different species of fish. You know, as a multi-species angler, this is the most important for me. It is not about catching sizes, right? Trophy fish are welcome to come as always, but the main objective is really trying to catch new species of fish or as many different species as possible with one lure. So there you go. Wow, look at this. That's so colorful, huh? There we go. Huh? Remind me of the Brazilian Carnaval, huh? the Mardi Gras. That's what I meant. There we go, very colorful, little jig head, right? You can put a little trailer at the back. This jig head here doesn't say how, how much you weight here. I would say this is a 132 or 116, okay? So yeah, there you go, very niche. I, I bet a bunch of different species of fish would go for this. And truth be told, folks, I am thinking of doing a few wild trout trips, okay? To wild trout creeks. I would definitely use something like this for the wild trout, okay? Keep keep that keep that in mind. You may see this in my future videos. All right, next one. We got here the mini sleep lock bobber by Clearly Outdoors on the value of 179, okay? And let me show you guys here. This is a float. There you go. The sleep lock bobber. Ah, I see. At the back here there are instructions as you guys can see. And you know, this is pretty much a bobber that was built so that you can, ah, let me open it up. So that you can lock it directly on it, okay? So it has a cool locking system, you see? It has a, it is opened at the back, right? And there you go, wait, there you go, what? How do I lock the stuff? Well, I'm supposed to read instructions, but, oh, I got it now. Okay, okay, I got it. You put the float on your line, your line's gonna be, you know, after this little hole, and then you just move the stuff, you see? Ah, there you go, I just locked it. On the other side, you do the same thing, move from the left to the right, there we go, and then your line's locked. And then when you want to take the float out, right, you can just unlock it. Very cool, yeah, definitely, I would definitely attempt to give this a try, you know, it is a small float too, I don't like my floats to be very big, unless it's weighted, okay? So this is like perfect, can you imagine? Yeah, I can imagine right here, right? Just using my imagination. Look, fish on. <laughs> All right. Next item, we got here the Smart Stop Micro Stops by Clearly Outdoors to be paired with the Sleep Lock Bobber included, right? This stops allow the angler to qu quickly set up the rig. So, you know, as you guys know, every float of that type should have, you know, a float stopper, okay? So there you go, smart, stop, micro, okay? Haha. -ha. Now, let me see how this thing works. Let me open it up here, try to give you guys a closer view because, you know, this thing looks very interesting, right? Look, it, it just looks like a little green thing inside the container. So let me open it up here, give you guys a closer view, see how exactly does this work. That, this is a very interesting in a certain sense because I have never seen one of these before so I would have to look at the instructions ah I see that's why you know that's why I was a little bit confused right because look 
there are all the little green bobber stoppers right here, okay? And I was thinking, how the hell do I get them out, right? Because I can't really get them out with my hand. And it does say here, okay, that needle, needle nose pliers are required. So if you have needle nose pliers, right, you just pinch one of these outside. And then that's going to be your float, your bobber stopper, okay? So that's very interesting. I do have a, I do have a, you know, a needle nose plier, but I have no idea where it is, okay? So we're just gonna jump to the next item, okay? We got, we got only two more to go, hanging there. I know we are 11 minutes on this unboxing already. Man, I always talk too much when I do these unboxings, don't I? <laughs> but you know, man, I want to, I want to let you know, you know, what is the best about these things, right? All right, Curl Tail Jig by Gilmore Tackle, 129, uh, a two pack, okay? Two pack, just like the wrapper. No, I'm just messing, okay. Very soft tails for maximum action, very hard heads and hooks for long lasting success and secure hookups, okay? We got here the Gilmore, ah. Oh, man, they give me a photo of a chartreuse one that looks very yummy and mine comes white. No, I'm just messing. The, the white is also good. Every time I go for a striped bass, remember this. Every time I go for a striped bass, I like to use pearl white, okay? White is actually a very good color. And as a matter of fact, this color here is made, it is, you know, pearl, okay? And more than anything, this thing is made in, in Haiti, Haiti, okay? As you can see, it's not made in China, so that's good, all right, man? I'm Asian. And you know, I, I don't, I'm not a big fan of made in China stuff, even though a lot of stuff that I have made in China, okay? All right, let me open it up, show you guys. Oh, all right, let me see. It comes already with a jig head, okay? Uh, I, I want to open it up and show you guys just so that I, I can see by myself how soft these tails are, okay? Look, I'm just slightly shifting the jig head left to right and you can see the motion now as a physicist right you have to be very aware of the thickness of the material and the material that is used for this kind of viewers right if the if the if the tail is too thick the movement is not going to be as versatile i don't know if you guys understand that or not in other words the thicker the tail is on a product worse is it is movement in the water okay and, and of course, not only that, you have to make the shape very cool too, you know? If you have different, sh you know, if you have a small cut here at the back, the motion is not going to be the same anymore, right? You guys may be familiar with, um, with what I'm talking about. If you use something similar to this, the trailer, when it comes to fluke fishing in salt water, right? When you go fishing for fluke in salt water, you usually buy those gold products that have the tail like this, and as soon as some small ass fish chills on your tail, you know, the whole thing gets ruined because it just doesn't do the same motion anymore. I don't know if you guys are, know what I'm talking about. So there you go, yeah? Comes with a small jig head. Once again, this is probably a 116 ounce jig head. Definitely something I would be willing to use, okay? Now let's talk about the last one. Oh my God, we're finally at the last one. Spoiler Shed Swimming Beach by Cream Viewers. No way, no way, man. This is gonna be, is this for real? Wow, okay, I got the Spoiler Shed Swimming Bait by Cream Lures, okay? On the value of 276, okay? Now, uh, let me read this first, okay? These pre-rigged shed imitators, uh, what? Okay, man, uh, what? See, every month I get these weird things now. Okay, these pre-rigged shed imitators are have, are have a translucent design to shine light in all directions below the water on bright days, okay? I, I'm not joking, man. It says here, right here, are, are have, okay? Are have. Now, my English is not the best, but I think this is an English mistake. I'm just saying. Oh, okay, so there you go. We got here the, the spoiler shed swimming bait by cream lures. Okay, there we go. And why, you know, you know why was I look, you know, like, whoa, I really got these. Actually, one of my subscribers, Gage, Gage Jacobs, he just sent me a package on the mail with a couple of these spoiler shed 
to buy cream lures. You know what? Let me go get it. Give me a moment. Let me let, let me go get it. I will show you guys. All right, there we go. Yeah, Gage Jacob sent me this package here. I'm not gonna show. You know, let me see if there's any information here. Okay, there's no information. I'm not gonna show the other side of this package because you know it has personal information. This is the one that came inside the Mystery Tackle Box, okay? And that was so, <laughs> you know, such a coincidence because I will show you guys, right? First of all, he sent me a little, he sent me a little uh, letter inside. I just want to show you folks too, right? The, oh, by the way, he sent this to my PO Box. If you want to send anything to me on my PO Box, make sure to do it. And I will portray here on the channel if it is something positive, okay? So he sent me this little letter too that it says, the baits inside and says, hey Leo, I am so happy to be sending you these baits. Thank you very much, bro. I am sending you these baits because this past April, I slammed a ton of crappies with them. I am not sponsored by this company, <laughs> but they just make really great quality products, okay? And then he uh, he says here, P.S. I just thought in, uh, I just threw in the Johnson Beetle spin just because it is also a good bait. Good luck. So, uh, Gage, right? So, uh, th thank you. Thank you very much for sending me this stuff, bro. And again, this is the one that came inside Mr. Tackle Box, right? Just now that I did the unboxing. And I wanted to portray his products, right? Gage's products in another video. But look at this. Look, look, how, look how much of a coincidence this is, okay, folks? He sent me two packs okay of the same thing all right the cream is spoiler shed isn't that such a coincidence man that's why when i was looking at the package i was like i can't believe it you know he sent me two two packs okay one in the same color and one in a blue color all right it, isn't that cool and i definitely gonna use this for some crappie for some pinfish in the future and not only that right he sent me another one called the spoiler shed the same one but it comes with a little spinning blade for an extra action and he also sent me the johnson beetle spin okay that i have seen in markets for a long time but i have never used it so once again gage jacobs thank you very much thank you very much for sending me all these things i'll definitely give it a try if i catch any fish on the things that you have sent me i'll make sure you know to give you a little shout out in the youtube video okay all right folks so this is it for uh this month's mystery tackle box unboxing okay as i mentioned in the beginning of this video this is going to be the last mystery tackle uh box unboxing in in this format okay i am <clears throat> relinquishing my a sponsorship with Mr. Tackle Box in February videos. I, I am starting this new versus project where I am going to be unboxing boxes from different companies and giving you guys my sincere and unbiased opinions on those boxes. If I would use Allure, I would certainly tell you so. If I wouldn't, I will let you know why. And by the way, <clears throat> just before I go, some folks have been uh, telling me that my unboxings are too long, okay? And this unboxing, right, if you put everything together, it is almost 20 minutes. With the additional 10 minutes introduction of the important information, this is already about a 30 minutes video, which in my opinion, it is pretty long, okay? But let me tell you this, every time I do an unboxing, I have two options, okay, folks? I could, uh, for example, I'll give an example of what I'm talking about, okay? For every unboxing, I have two options. I could have the option of just opening the box and be like, all right, folks, today we have the Game Boy by Luckcraft, value of 980. It is a cool lure. It looks really cool. It has cool hooks. All right. Definitely cool. There's a little cool rattling, rattling sound inside. You can catch some cool fish on it. I could do this, okay? And then move to the second, second lure here, all right? Oh, all right, we got this spoiler shed by Krim Yours. It is a, a cool shed with a cool tail or a cool jig head. I could catch some cool fish on this, some cool crappie, and then move to the next one. My video wouldn't take longer than five minutes for that, okay? And believe it or not, I'm not gonna mention names here. I have watched it before. I know some people on YouTube do this kind of stuff, okay? 
or I could do what I did today. I could unbox things and really try to show you, listen, you need some freaking nose pliers to get this thing, the bobber stopper out of it. I could have told you, listen, this thing, the sap sucker yours that came, doesn't have a, a, a lot of salt content in it, which is actually important for certain yours, right? You don't believe me? Go taste a little Senko by Gary Yamamoto Bates, okay? Gary Yamamoto Bates, the Senko, has a lot of salt in it, okay? Once again, I am, don't, don't try this at home, okay? But if you do, just get a small piece and try it out. It's gonna be very salty, okay? So, as I'm telling you guys, you know, see, I show you, I show you how you use this float, actually, open it up. So you see guys, I, I could do it both ways. I could do the first way, which could save me a lot of time. I still get the same number of views on my videos, okay? Which is absolutely fine, but I like to follow the educational approach, right? I like to tell you guys what I can about these lures, right? <laughs> what, why would I use them, for what I would use them, and how I would use it, right? Little comments here and there about each one of them. So I hope that you don't mind that my videos are so long and once again if you skip you know parts of the video you're never really gonna learn 100% of the stuff in my video so I, I don't really recommend you to do so okay all right folks that's it for today my god this video is way too long I talk too much that's why I can't do unboxing videos all the time I, I just keep talking all right we're done with the mystery tackle box unboxing for the month of January leave me your sincere opinion okay about this topic tight lines and until next video fellas and I just got a phone call. <laughs> All right, tie lines.